That car is very, very nice. Oh, I want one. It's probably like, I don't know, four o'clock, five o'clock now. Let's have a look. It's quarter to five. PM. Um, definitely PM. So I'm heading back from like a field looking at uh, the church on top of West Wickham Hill. I don't know what the name of it is. Been here a couple of times before. I've just done like, a couple of hypers at times, whatever. And there's a bird that I need to get a photo of. Anyway, I missed that photo. It was worth a try. My mum basically wanted me to get a photo of a red kite now that I have a more zoomier lens. Anyway, I'm trying to go back to daily just because I have like, when I'm in Eastbourne, I have two hours less, like most evenings, because I usually do swim training. Whereas now I have two hours extra per evening. Uh, so yeah, fill it. So I would ho hopefully have a bit more time. But rendering these time lapses to give you an idea, let's say we shoot 400 shots for a time lapse. That's say, let's say half an hour of shooting for one time lapse. We transfer them over. That's like 10 minutes. Process them in Lightroom to um, change colour a little bit and get it right and colour grade it and that. Exporting out of Lightroom probably takes like 40, 45 minutes. So that's a while. Then After Effects, you import them into After Effects and you sort them out into a video file, you stabilise it. That's like another 10, 20 minutes depending on how crooked it is. And then exporting it from that, that's another 20 minutes, half an hour. And then, yeah, you've got your file. So yeah. They take quite a long time to do each, so I'm trying, I'm trying. Nice car. Nice Lamborghini. Nice. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to see a uh, Lamborghini in this sort of area, but that car is very, very nice. <laughs> Just for you, Mum. Just your colour. <laughs> <laughs> 